New information now on a lawsuit that claims a woman's rights were violated when she was booked into a Warren County jail. County officials say they defend their actions. Spectrum News 1's Erin Dickens went through the lawsuit with an attorney and gives us the details. The woman in court documents identified as Jane Doe as a longtime resident of Bowling Green and is a practicing Muslim. According to the lawsuit filed by the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, the woman was mistreated when she was being held at the Warren County Jail. The complaint claims that Doe was, quote, subjected to an unnecessary full body strip search that was filmed and projected on a TV screen for all those present in the jail lobby to see, unquote, and then was allegedly forced to remove her hijab for her booking photo which goes against her faith and would violate her constitutionally protected rights. Aya Beydoun, a legal fellow working closely with Doe in the case, said Doe was not comfortable with taking off for her job. She asked quite explicitly, isn't this my right? Um, you know, I, I should be able to keep this on. And long story short, um, we've detailed the exact interaction in the complaint, but they did force her to remove it. Um, otherwise, there would be consequences. The complaint then states that the photo was published on their website. The lawsuit names Warren County Judge Doug Gorman, Chief Jailer Stephen Harmon, Deputy Jailer Brooke Lindsey Harp, Officer Benjamin Carroll, and mentions two other identified officers, all of whom declined or were unavailable to comment. According to CARE, the purpose of the lawsuit is to have the jail stop taking booking photos of Muslim so women without their hijab. I mean, our client, Jane Doe, has a driver's license and she has a U.S. passport. And both of those things feature her photo with her hijab. As long as the face is identifiable, it shouldn't be an issue. And to have all images of Jane Doe without her hijab removed from public and private records. In a press release, Chief Jailer Harmon said they are aware of the lawsuit and admits there was an incident at the jail. But Harmon goes on to say that the lawsuit contains exaggerations and inaccuracies and those constitutional rights were not violated. The jailer adds, Warren County and its employees will vigorously defend their actions taken on this matter. In Bowling Green, Aaron Dickens, Spectrum News.